been out here working in the orchard and I'm, I, I, I have a burn pile that I've been burning stuff in for the last six months in and it is per, built up pretty deep in, in uh, ashes and stuff like that but it makes extremely extremely good soil especially if you mix it with grass clippings and uh, maybe a little sand or something like that it makes really good soil as a matter of fact it's as good as this stuff right here so maybe if you live in an area that doesn't have really good soil you know say like this stuff right here which we had hauled in here to, to, to pack the soil so we could build something on top of it but if you want something that you can grow things on you want to be able to plant a garden have good good vegetables good fruits um, let me show you what what this soil looks like this is the stuff that came out of my burn pile granted it's got a few big chunks in it but that's no big deal we put this in and then put grass clippings over the top of it and this look at that is what we end up with and you can plant just about anything in that this is part of what's in here and growing this. I've got a few more loads of this stuff to bring in here and dump out. And then I'm gonna cover it over with some dirt and it, it will make extremely, extremely good soil for planting. And we will plant some stuff. Love it when a plan comes together. Here's the new burn pile, folks. And this is the old burn pile. And this is dirt and ashes and basically a lot of carbon built up in there. And it works great if you mulch it in with leaves. You know, put in a little bit of topsoil or whatever with you. My new burn pile is going to be fueled by this and this is pandan which we had all along the pond and i have a lot of it to burn which is going to give me a lot more ashes a lot more buildup, and when it starts to deteriorate it makes extremely good mixing soil to go with mulch which is made by grass, weeds, uh, bananas, whatever. But if you have some of these up here, palm trees on your property, you should be taking these branches that when they get ready to fall off and put them on your burn pile and burn them and just keep doing that for six months. Six months is not very long, really. And you'll end up with a big pile of the carbon hey folks you live in thailand you want a cash crop this here is birds of paradise it's one of four different types of birds of paradise that we have here at paradise garden okay and i planted this a couple years ago in a little bitty canal that dead ends and that's all the bigger it is but you dig this out pot it and each one of these little babies right here 50 baht a piece and there's literally hundreds of them in there uh, but that's only one of four different types that we have and this one has gone ape crazy here in this little canal so you want a cash crop plant you some uh, birds of paradise you want another cash crop plant you some pandan you want another cash crop? Plant you some galanga. This stuff grows like crazy. 
Ilanga. Grows like crazy. And the wife, she'll love it if you have it. You want another cash crop? Lemongrass. Grows like crazy. Oh, hey folks. Oh, got a little video I'm making for you all right now that you know, cash crops in Thailand. Um, Paradise Gardens uh, really is just a, our, our residence. We're not doing anything for money, but if you want to make some money, plant some birds of paradise. Those things are everywhere around here, and I, I have to thin them out on a regular basis. You want another cash crop? Pandan. If you've got a pond, plant it around your pond, and that stuff goes crazy. And it, it goes for, I don't know, 10 baht a bundle uh, around the, at the markets. And they use it in cooking. It's, it's really good, has good flavor, good smell. It's also something that you can put in pots around your property for aesthetic looks. Um, another thing is, is little palm trees and what have you. Just put them in pots. Take the seed, put them in pots. They grow like crazy. Um, we take all the leaves and branches and stuff that fall off of the palm trees and we uh, turn those into mulch by um, uh, burning them. So you can take, I'm, I'm going to eat my lunch too. Sushi. You can, you can take all those and put them in a burn pile and keep doing it for about six months you end up with a big pile of carbon basically which is burnt whatever the heck you were burning and you can take that mix it with grass clippings leaves dried leaves um, a little bit of topsoil or a little sand mix it all together let it set for a couple of months and you end up with some really good potting soil. So you don't have to go buy that stuff. So, you know, I went and bought this stuff. But we're planting a lot of trees right now. So that's something you can think about, you know. Um, I showed a few places around here that, that we're doing some stuff. So hope you enjoy that. But oh, the sushi is really good. We have a market real close to the house. And on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this couple comes in and sells sushi. So I, this is Monday, and I bought this sushi yesterday evening, knowing I'd have sushi for dinner and then sushi again for lunch. And it's well worth it. This is really good. So anyhow, talk to y'all later. really good with a Dr. Leo. Oh yeah. Of course anything goes good with a Dr. Leo. <laughs> I love living here. Hey folks. I'm trying to get this this uh, burn pile going. If you look over here you see that it's not doing too good but you should have seen the fire i had going before because all of that is gone that little pile in there is gone and everything that i had piled up around here is gone but it stopped burning at least it stopped burning the way i want it to but see i've got this and all of this down here i still want to burn this stuff today I don't want to mess around. Oh. See this? Yeah. We're going to put this on that damn burn pile. You know, and eventually, yeah, eventually that would burn. But, you know, heck, 
I don't want to wait all damn night. I want to burn it now. <laughs> so watch this. Folks, this is how you get a fire going. Yeah, you see that? Put some O2 to it. some more stuff to it. Burn, baby, burn. That's not a very good fire. getting going. Yeah. yeah. Now we'll fire up some O2. Put some goddamn oxygen to it. Make a damn fire. 